York and Chicago is their tickets to the bank pigs. I don't give a fuck. But you know, I don't, I don't have a problem with it. But the majority of people I see in Black Block, I just want a bunch of people wanting to go wild. You sitting in Chicago, mate? You're a part of it, dude. You know? <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> you know? But anarchism is very sacred to me, is what I'm trying to say, I think. So you think black black people uh, don't know about that sacredness? I love their spirit, and I I stand in solidarity, and I join every black black I say. I'm dressed to impress. Well, I have my red shirt on now, but usually I have my black hoodie. I'm dressed to impress, and every black black I see, mate. Is right. this uh, is this an uh, anarchist? Uh, no, no, your jacket. Is this an anarchist jacket? Oh no, this, John? This, is just, uh, this is just a punk rock jacket. What's that? I'm punk rock, I like punk oh, rock music. Punk. This is a punk rock jacket. That's punk rock, okay. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, it has nothing to do with anarchism, punk rock? I mean, yeah, I mean, I picked this button up in Chicago, it says fuck cops. So... <laughs> <laughs> this is a little smash the TV. Yeah. Fox News lives in there. Smash I that. know. <laughs> Um, that. Yeah, that's, that's bad for your soul. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bunch of punk rock bands. This was a uh, comic strip done by someone whose name I don't know. It's called um, "You Don't Have to Fuck People Over to Survive." It's an anarchist like book or graphic novel by somebody that I don't even know. It was given to me in Providence, Rhode Island, by a crusty punk. But the rest are just you know punk rock stickers. Do, do cops bother you for your jacket? No, for your, not for, for your jacket, clothes? No. Not for my jacket. No? Yeah, not, not, not for my jacket. Like, the only times that cops really ever bother me is when I'm sleeping on the sidewalk. Every morning they'll come and kick me and be like, Oi, wake up. Okay. I wake up and I go about my day. The only time the cops really bother me here in New York. So nobody bothers you but cops, they wake you up. Uh, no one really bothers me, I love everyone. <laughs> everyone's great, everyone's fabulous. I see a, a cop car on the sidewalk. Where uh, Down there, it was down there. I think it's still here. A little bit... What do you, uh, what do you think that is? No, I mean... Uh, When you sleep on the sidewalk, they kick you to wake you up, but right. they over put their car... Over there on 15th, they do. Over there on 15th, over yeah. there they do. They do. They kick people up, but not everywhere in, in the city, right? Not everywhere in the city, no. Just mainly around Union Square. Mainly around... Uh, Why is this? You know, because uh, there's a lot of companies and businesses. When you sleep on the sidewalk, or you're sleeping outside their business. And so, yes. you know, when they go to open up in the mornings, they don't want you hanging out there because they, it would make their business look bad. It'll make their corporate company look bad. Why is this? They got it. They have, you know, these corporations and these fucking businesses. They have a reputation to uphold. They got to look like the best. This New York City. You mean richest? Yeah, exactly. They look. So they have to look supreme. They have to look like the best. Like so, draw business from of, the from yeah, the rich. Want, they don't want a bunch of protesters and bums hanging outside their place. So every morning the cops come by and like, oi, wake up. Private property. That's all the cops defend. That's all the cops protect. Private. Private property. Property. Exactly. Who the fuck if you have to sleep? They don't the defend the people. So what? They don't defend the people. No, of course not. Of course not. If they defend Now, the people, are, they shouldn't kick corporations you. corporations people, then yes, they will defend the people. <laughs> But corporations I don't, are people. Yeah, yeah apparently. But <laughs> The corporations are not people. Corporations are made up of workers. Workers! God damn it. Arise. That's all I'm going to say. I may like punk rock and all that, but... So... I'm a working class punk. I go oh, to North Carolina. There's, there's uh, other class punk... Pop, uh, punk... The uh, anarchist too? So what? There are other classes. Classes, you know, there's many schools of thought. Yeah. There's pacifist, anarcho pacifism. Yeah. There's anarcho syndicalism. Yeah. What I support. Syndicalism. That means anarchist worker unions. You know, I'm a, I'm a working class punk rocker. 
Right. I'm a working class anarchist. Okay. You know? Just like in the days of old, I'm a working class anarchist. I am the proletariat, you know? I used to work on farms back in North Carolina. I used to be a fucking city stalker boy in a Dollar Tree. I used to work fast food. I know how tough it is. I love to work. I want to work. I long to work. You know? I want to work. Why? Why? Because it progresses. It's progress. Work. So what? Work. Work. Progresses. It, it progresses humanity. The sweat of our brow. The blood but you're working. Rings. You're working to the system. No, no. I, I mean, I mean, manual labor. I mean, labor, not work. No. Nah, I don't okay. mean a city fast food job. I don't mean a fucking office desk job. I don't mean a fucking cashier. I mean the fucking board, the construction workers. They made this city. Not the fucking cashiers at your Whole Foods. Not the fucking cashiers. Are you? At your are you? Studio. Are you happy with the city they made? I'm not. I love New York City. I do, don't get me wrong. I love New York City. New York City is my kind of place. I'm not happy with what New York City has become, what New York City represents. I do not like that. Nicholas Sacco of Sacco and Benzetti fame, when he came to America, he made, he made, he, he, he saw and he wrote, people do not live in America, People live under America. Because he saw what the working class was going through. He saw what the working class had to deal with day to day. With the fucking, a, fucking a dime a day. A dollar a day for their manual labor. People don't live in America. People live under America. People are weighed down. We have to support the weight of America. And that's what the people around us are doing day after day. That's what people in my home state are going through. North Carolina, in the rural country, where your next door neighbor's a mile away. Now in the rural country, that's what my fucking people are going through down south. But no one, no one wants to rebel down south. No one wants to rebel down south. People Why is afraid, this? People are afraid to rebel down south. People are complacent down south. They don't, they don't want to rebel. They think, oh, we can't do it. We can't do it. Why is that? They they think they, they think that because they think the government's too powerful. They support our government only because they fear our government. And that's why I had to get away from the South. That's why I had to run away from the South. Because I tried when I was down there. I tried to tell the people, you should not fear your government. The government should fear you. Dig? Yeah. No one wanted to listen. No one, no one cared what I had to say. But one of these days, they will have to choose sides. Do, do, do they think uh, they cannot live without government? Come again? Do they think they cannot live without government? They cannot live without government? Well, people down south, when, when, when I speak of anarchism, they say, oh, if we had anarchy, everyone would be killing each other and... You know, chaos. robbing each other and it would be chaos everywhere. So what was your answer? But my answer is, that's not what anarchism is. That's not anarchism. Anarchism is a complete separate philosophy. That's uh, Anyone who thinks that that's what anarchism represents has been duped. They've been misled. Uh, sh uh, hammer the TV. Yes, smash your television. That's why where this exactly. stupid thing comes. They've been fed. They've been misled. Misled completely on what anarchism is. Anarchism is the beautiful ideal. As Emma Goldman put it. The beautiful ideal. Why is it so difficult to uh, implement that ideal? People are ignorant. And people are proud of their ignorance. Proud. People, people, ignorance is bliss. Bliss. Ignorance is bliss. People are complacent and they are comfortable and they love their ignorance. So it's all about ignorance then? It is. Truly. Truly I believe that, yes. Is it so difficult to, uh, to show them true anarchy? Like show them proof? 
Just look at your history. Look no, no, uh, no. Barcelona you, in 1936. No, they don't want to read, as you said. Yeah, they, they don't. They, they right. complacent. So, right. can you do? Can you show them something on the ground like this? People can see it. You go to Forest Park Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois, and you find Emma Goldman's grave, and you stand before it, and you experience the vibe that I feel come off of that grave. You, you sit and you feel the vibe that comes off of that grave. There's some tendency here and like uh, they call it worship in the uh, cemetery, graveyards, Gra graveyard worshippers. It's not even that. You're not like this. Can you show people live and... Um, we could when we were in Zuccotti Park, right? Yeah. Zuccotti Park was a total anarchist community. Same as Barcelona in, in, in 1936. Same as Paris, France in the 1800s. So isn't it possible... Same as the Paris Commune. Same as Barcelona yes. in 1936. Isn't it possible to establish an anarchist community right here? It, does it have to be um, sleeping? I mean, in the tents? Tents would be nice, but I agree. Uh, you know you have but, to um, you have to be realistic and still right. try. Tents would be nice. Yes, I agree. But uh, if we wanted to establish an anarchist community here in Union Square Park, we could. Who who's stopping but, us? But it would depend on um, everyone's knowledge. Everyone who participates, knowledge of anarchism. Of course, uh, the, the police state is going to try to destroy it. And, and that's what I was getting at. What I was going to further get at is there's a lot of things you have to fight in order to establish that. Definitely. But we you can still try. And not, not only the police, you have to deal with all the hierarchy above that. And not only that, you have to deal with the ignorant mass. Ignorance. The ignorant mass of people that floats by here day after day. The millions of people that walk past here who don't have an opinion in the world. Who don't even care. You have to deal with them also. Because they exactly. too, someday, will be an army. Right. They too will be an army someday. The ignorant consumer class will be an army. Can you imagine that? Army of ignorance. An army of ignorance. They too will be an army. They, they have no idea what the hell they're fighting for. They want to fight for the way things are still being run. But they want to fight to have that fucking Whole Foods market and that Forever 21 and that fucking Walgreens at every store. It's convenient to them because they're rich. They want that convenience. But still uh, now we can still build an anarchist community like Occupy community right, right here. And uh, there's Occupy Farms that's yeah. been doing that. There's but that's been, uh, kind of far percent. out. Uh, and I just yeah, heard that nobody out. wants to go there too. Right. But it's been my idea and I'm not afraid to express it on live stream. Yeah. But um, I walk by New York City a lot, especially out in Brooklyn. And even down here in the Lower East Side, I see a lot of empty lots.